Okay, so first of all, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit a map in PowerPoint. So the first thing I'm going to do is search for an image of a map online. And I'm going to do this by going to pixabay.com. And then I'm going to search for world map. And then I'm going to filter this for vector graphics, which is the kind of file format that you need in order to be able to do this. And you can see that there are lots of different options here for the kind of map that you can choose. I am going to use this one. And I'm going to go to free download and then select vector graphic SVG and then download it. And I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to open up a blank PowerPoint presentation and I'm going to go to insert and pictures. And I'm going to insert the file that I just downloaded. And this is the map. The first thing I'm going to do is just make this a little bit bigger so it fills the whole of my screen. And then if I open the selection pane, you can see I currently have one image here. Now I'm going to go to convert to shape and it's going to show me this warning. It says this is an imported picture, not a group. Do you want to convert it to a Microsoft Office drawing object? And you'll get this warning sign every single time you use the convert to shape feature. And it's just telling you that you're about to break down the picture you just imported. And I'm just going to say yes. And now you can see on the selection pane, it's converted it all into individual shapes. 240 three to be exact. Now I can select one of these individual shapes and I can click and drag it independently of the rest of the image. I'm just going to press Ctrl Z now to undo that. I can also select this image and then right click and go to group and ungroup and we'll, it will separate it all out into individual shapes. Now I'm going to press Ctrl Z to undo that as well. Um, obviously, I don't want to ungroup everything or move a shape individually because it will distort my map, but you might want to do that depending on the image that you're working with. I am going to delete Antarctica because I don't want that. And then I'm going to select everything and go to Format. And I'm going to shape fill all of this so that it's a green. And then also add in a shape outline. Now I think I'll also add in a background to this image. So I'm going to add in a shape here and then I will make it into a nice blue color and make it have a black outline. And then of course I need to send this to back so I can actually see my map over the top of it. Okay, and that's the first map that I'm showing you in this video. I'm now going to put another map over the top of it. So this time I'm going to search for a USA map and I'm going to filter the images again for vector graphics and I'm just going to select this image and then I'm going to download it in the exact same way. So making sure I have vector graphics selected and then downloading it and saving it. Then I think for the time being, I will put this in a separate slide and I'm going to insert and picture and then this time select the USA image. And then I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that it fills my slide and I'm going to delete design ideas because I don't want that. And you can see in the selection pane again, I just have one graphic. So I'm going to go to convert to shape and I'll get this error message again. I'm just going to select yes. And now it has created individual shapes for me. Now you probably also just noticed that it made all of the text in my image disappear. 
Now, this convert to shape feature is still relatively new in PowerPoint, and they haven't quite worked out all of the kinks with it yet. And one of the problems is that it doesn't work very well with text in an image. So that's just something to bear in mind. Now, I am gonna edit this image a little bit. First thing I'm gonna do is to zoom in and then delete these little lines. These lines were going to the labels for each of these states, but now that they're not here, they look kind of silly. Okay, and that's the last one. Now, if I select one of these shapes here, you can see it also selects one of the shapes in the image. So shape 117 corresponds to this shape here, which is one of the stars. And I can select each of these and you, you'll see that it selects a different shape each time. Now I can also select this and then hold down control in order to select multiple shapes at once. And then if I press delete, I can delete these shapes. And also, if I select this shape here, and then press the little I at the side, it will make the star disappear. It's like I'm closing the eye so you can't see it anymore. So that's another way of getting rid of the shapes. Now I can also select one of the shapes and then hold down control and select multiple shapes. And I don't want these stars in this image, so I'm just going to delete some of them. Okay, then I'm gonna delete them. I can't be bothered to delete every single star in this image, so I'm just going to select everything and go to Format and Shape Fill, and then I'll change it to a nice gray color. That makes all of the stars the same color as the background, so you can't see them anymore. Now, say if I wanted to use this image to show all of the states in the Midwest in the USA, I can go to Wikipedia, and I can just copy this image here by selecting these states. So I'm just gonna click these ones. And then I'm going to go to format and I'm gonna change their color. So I'll make them a much darker gray. And then I can open this back up again and I will just insert a background. And then I will make this the same light blue that I used before and give it a black outline and then send it to back. Then if I press Control A to select everything on the slide, and then I'm gonna press Control G to group everything. Then I'm gonna press Control X to cut the image and go to this slide and then press Control V to insert it. Then obviously I need to rescale this to make it smaller and a bit more in proportion to the size of my world map. And I'm gonna put it about here. And then I am also gonna change the United States in my world map, so it's the same color as my USA map. Then I'm gonna to go to insert and shape and draw some lines from here to here, and then I'll make that black. And then another line from this corner and make that black. And then finally, one more line from this corner to about here. And now it looks like the USA is popping out of my world map. So I've made a map that shows where Midwest in the United States is. 
Now I have been using Pixabay in order to find these images but you don't need to use Pixabay if you don't want to you just need to make sure that the image that you're using is a vector graphic and that it's an SVG file. You can create an account on Pixabay but there are other ways of getting these sorts of images. I can just go to Google images and go to images and then search for world map and then if I go to settings and advanced search if I scroll down here I can change the file type to an SVG file I then also need to change the usage rights. You will probably need either free to use, share or modify or free to use, share or modify even commercially. And then advanced search. And you can see there are lots of different kinds of maps that come in these filters. Now, if I just click on the first one, this is a map from Wikipedia. And you can see it's an SVG file and I can just download the original file and save it and then I can insert it in the exact same way I did before and I know that if I go to Wikipedia and search USA map then it also has a map of the United States which is very similar to the one I was using previously and I would imagine that Wikipedia probably has a map for every country so hopefully this has given you some ideas of the different kinds of maps that you can edit in PowerPoint obviously this is just an example and of course it doesn't need to be a map it can be any kind of image that you want so long as it's in the right file format now there's just a couple of things to note before I finish this um, convert to shape feature is only available in the most recent versions of PowerPoint and Office 365 updates come out to different people at different times so even if you have the most up-to-date version of PowerPoint which is currently available to you you still might not get this convert to shape feature for several more months and the second thing to note is that this is not a way to get around copyright even if you take an image and then substantially modify it so that it looks nothing like the image that you started with that image still has copyright on it obviously if you're a student and you're just using this in a presentation or a poster probably nobody is going to care or even notice but it's just something to keep in mind okay and that is it